Hey, Camp Hulks. Welcome to our bedroom. We're in a, we're in a bedroom in a Momentum 395M. Grant is on Momentum 395M. This is the culprit. This is the window. There is no outdoor awning over this window. This window is totally exposed to the light. So we are adding some privacy control. It, although it is a tinted window, uh, daytime privacy film, whatever you want to call it. This is UV film. In the mornings, we're awakened by the bright sunlight coming busting through this window. So I'm going to put some more film, or I'm going to put some film on this window to darken it up a little bit, cut down the UV rays coming into this uh, window. It is a dual pane window, but again, it absorbs a lot of sunlight. This is a great day to do it because it's a cloudy, overcast day here in South Florida. So I'm going to go ahead and do this and show you how we do it. Here we go. All right, guys, this is the uh, Gila, 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 G-I-L-A window, privacy window film. And this is the window film application kit. We got this at Lowe's. I'll see if there's an Amazon link to it. But of course, step number one is to clean the window thoroughly. We're using our Gabe Spride RV window cleaner. The directions say do not use anything ammonia based or uh, alcohol based. So this is what we're using right now to clean the window. Some Gabe Spride RV window cleaner. It also mentions to get the dirt and dust and debris out of the track so it does not flow onto or blow onto your window interrupting the application of the film. So we're cleaning out the window thoroughly, getting all the dust out of the tracks. I've already pre-done this, but I'm doing it again for demonstration purposes. But it'll also tell you do not use a cloth to dry it off. We're going to use a squeegee and the squeegee that came with it. So I'll hit it one more time with a cleaner. And we'll squeegee this baby off to ensure that there is no dust on the window. Now this is our Mercy Egress window. We had to take the sticker off. I know it's our Mercy window, so, but you may have to do that if you want to add film to the window. All right, guys, it says to measure and cut the window film. So we're going to go ahead and get a measurement. It says go about one inch wider than the actual window itself. So this is the film. Uh, we got plenty of it, that's for sure. Give you an idea what it looks like when you unwrap it. Comes in a sheet like that. So we're going to go ahead and uh, cut it to the size we need, plus one inch all around, and trim it up when we stick it on there. All right, after you measure and cut your material, which, by the way, this is going to be a little tough. you got to tuck it inside this frame uh, on this window. But it says to take pieces of tape, two pieces of tape, about leave about an inch on each side. And what you're going to do is use this to separate the both. And as you pull this away, you're supposed to use the spray solution. And you're supposed to pull this, use this to pull this away and spray the inside of your film. You're going to be fighting it. That's for sure. Just like that. Just like that. Now spray the window, miss. The top now, one. What? The top one. Yeah, the top section. Then you're going to spray the window with the uh, application solution. Get it nice and wet. And then you're going to apply your window film on with the solution on both the window film and uh, the window. The wetter the better, right? Then you can move it around. And then with the... Yep, the wetter the better. And again, we're doing this on a cloudy day, so the window's not hot and causing you difficulties uh, getting this up there. So it should look... I already see the difference. Yes, you can already see the difference. Look at that. So it should look something like that. And our next step is, hold on. There's no directions in the box. Wet the window and film. Lately spray the application solution on the inside of the surface of the window and both sides of the film. Both sides of the film, okay. Both sides of the film. 
to help reduce the static, uh, static electricity. Well, that's why it's stuck together. Remove the liner, peel it. Well, we've done that. Uh, apply the film to the glass. Hold the film so that the newly exposed adhesive side of the film is facing the window and apply the glass. Use your hands to smooth the film out so the excess of one inch of film is overlapping the window on all four sides. Uh, we got our excess of overlapping all four sides. Uh, this, the left right is going to be tight because you got the uh, trim of the actual window frame. But it's in there. So our next step is to... Hey, by the way, if you're thinking of uh, getting a lithium battery, getting DuraPower batteries, get yourself a lithium and DuraPower battery. Get 5% off for being a campaholic. Visit EnduroPower.com and or I'll post the link below. You can click on that link and save yourself 5% on EnduroPower lithium batteries. All right, here we go. Is that subliminal uh, <laughs> advertising? <laughs> All right, trim the film, remove uh, green film tool cut. Or so it comes with a... We got squeegee first. Yes, we got a squeegee. But it comes with a tool cutting kit and a squeegee. So we're going to squeegee the excess out of this. So it says go from the center out with the, with the low length cloth on the squeegee. Go from center out. Squeegee out all the bubbles to about the half inch line. All right, so our film is on there. We've cut around. We've got the excess off. It says to reapply the solution. And to what? Missy's reading. Re wet the newly applied film and squeegee from the center to the right side, working your way from top to bottom. <laughs> from top to bottom. Repeat this process for the left side. Press firmly to remove all the water so the film can cure clearly. If air bubbles are present, squeegee them out. Any remaining small water bubbles should evaporate as the film cures. So we're going from the center, out, top to bottom. The film fully cures over the next week to 10 days. Oh, wow. Wow. During the curing, the film may initially look hazy or cloudy. It does. It will appear, the effect will disappear with time and or exposure to heat, i.e. the sun or a hair dryer. Well, the sun will definitely get to it. And it says, if you may notice imperfection, imperfections such as air bubbles or debris between the film and the glass, the film adhesive allows you to peel the film away from the glass and address the imperfection and reapply for up to 24 hours. So if you find something wrong tomorrow morning, pull it back, do whatever, respray, and start over again. All right, so we got... The bottom section to do, uh, time-wise, if we didn't set up a camera and, and read the directions step-by-step, step, which you should anyway. Uh, yeah, we should have. Well, it's, it's 20 minutes, a good 20 minutes, at least. Well, we have to measure minutes. back and forth. Our problem is we don't have a, you don't have a workspace. So it you had a table. Yeah. You, were going, you went outside, inside to that table, to that table. Our van is a little different. But... That's it. That's how you do it. We're going to put the bottom section on and we'll show you how that goes. And then when we get back from Tampa show, it yep. should be. Yep. We're going to the Tampa show next week. So that'll give it a good seven days of plus or almost 14 days. So we'll follow up with that. We'll show you what it looks like after 14 days to see if this little clip, I, I can see a little haze to it. It mm -hmm. says it'll go out over time. So. We'll see what happens. I'll put the bottom on now. Measure, cut, one inch. But if you have this rail like we do, that's about that's about an inch there, three quarter to an inch. Uh, so you're gonna have to fit it inside the groove down here. You have the egress part of the the window, so there's a frame down here. So you might have a little bit of challenge on an RV window, but it's gonna make it it's gonna make it darker in here man what 35 35 dollars i think is what it was the roll yeah something like that but as soon as the sunrise comes up bam it, it comes right in here and this room is warmer so and yep. we still use the blackout shade and we have um room darkening curtains so yeah we like it black in here yeah nice and dark nice and dark all right so we'll put the bottom on show you that real quick
All right, Campaholics, it's been several months now since we put this film, this uh, UV film on, some blocking film on, whatever you want to call it. It is called, again, Privacy Control Window Film by Gila. G-I-L-A. Anyway, um, I like it. It takes out a lot of the uh, UV lit rays. If you look at it closely, I don't know if you can see, There's there are streaks in it. I don't know, this stuff. It gives it like a... I don't know, that may bother you, put it that way. I don't know if you can see it or not. It's not perfectly clear. It's not perfectly clear. Clear, I guess, is the word. But yes. We now, I don't know if it's got anything to do with dual pane windows in this unit. Uh, but, and again, we keep this shade down anyway. It has made a big impact on this room in regards to light coming in here in the morning, waking us up and stuff like that. It's and even from outside, you can't see, you can tell the difference. Yeah, there's, so there's this example. Here we are, same sunlight, same boom. Look at that. Wow, but look at the difference in the darkness. So I'm going to do this window today. Again, that's been on for at least two months. Uh, it's, it's definitely cooler in here. It's made an impact. So we're going to put film on this one and going to hang another curtain rod. So, oh, oh. thanks for watching. This is the Gila Black Privacy Control Window Film. I'll put links up to it if you want to purchase one from Amazon. The links will be below. It's not a big deal to put it on, uh, but it makes a big impact. Man, look at that. So once again, brightness, darkness. Same side, no delay, boom, boom. All right, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Give this a thumbs up. Links are below. See you next video. Bye.